Hi, Bob Quinn for Blue Poppy Enterprises here. I want to take just a few minutes to share with you some ideas from Yin Sotai about how we could, in even five minutes, go, go through a whole body routine. This is of uh, immense benefit uh, for the patient. And for the acupuncturists out there, this is a good way to identify just a little time for the sotai and get a big benefit. In sotai, we have the concept of a pattern of distortion. Just to say, if there's a problem on the bottom of the foot here, on the right side, we expect over time a problem to develop in the left ankle. In similar fashion, a left ankle problem becomes a likely right knee problem, right knee, uh, a left hip, and so on, zigzagging up the body. You can see this in the diagram that we uh, use here. <clears throat> we use in Yin Sotai this uh, pattern of distortion to our advantage to try to engage always both sides. This gets a whole body uh, engagement. And instead of slowing down and asking the patient, like we might do in normal sotai, we would say, uh, you know, is it feel greater sense of ease coming this way or this way? Instead of that, I just come <clears throat> and we say with a, a touch a little bit more than gravity. I come and I'm putting a little impulse this way. And it's easier for this one to go this way when compared to that. That's all I need to know. I'm going to have this one come this way, and I'm going to do the opposite on the other side. This one's going that way. So if this one's going up, I resist here. If this one's going down, I resist here. So with the breath, breath in. Exhale, up, down. Beautiful. Keep going even though I'm resisting. Relax. Now, normally if you'd have more time, you would repeat that, but say we only have five minutes. And so up here, which I have a little bit more than gravity, this one goes down with greater ease. So I'm going to let this one go down, I'm going to let this one do the opposite. <clears throat> By playing one side off against the other, we get a dynamic engagement in this uh, lumbo-pelvic center, uh, koshi. So this one's going down, so I need to start it up here so it has some movement available to it. So this one starts here, Ashen, you're going down. This one starts where it is, it's going up. Breath in, exhale, up, down, beautiful, relax. And you'll notice the effort is quite minimal. It could be even less, but this is good. I double check, <coughs> these are still the same, this one this way. Saying this one go down, this one up. So I'm going to have Ashley do this one this way and this one going up. Breath in, exhale, relax. <clears throat> this one we want to go down. This one I'm also going to take down now. Okay, breath in by rechecking. Exhale. Relax. Good. <clears throat> Again, if you had more time, you could do more uh, repetitions. Uh, <clears throat> this one, with that little impulse of a little more than gravity, it doesn't want to go down at all. Uh, this one will go down a bit. <clears throat> so we're going to have this one come up, this one uh, go down. So I resist the going down here, the going up I resist here. Breath in, exhale, relax. <clears throat> Check, is that this change? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say this change. I want this to go down and this to go up. So I'm going to lift you up here. This is going down, knee going up with the exhale. Down. Relax. <clears throat> Check again. This one I want to go down. So I'm just briefly rechecking with this being a little more than gravity. This one down. 
down. So we're really engaging in the pattern of distortion. Remember I said a problem at the ankle to the knee to here. So I'm working a knee and opposite hip. I'm within the typical patterning. Come up here to the ribs. There are uh, a lot of moves available here, but for this we just check this little translation. You're going to come this side. So no twisting here, just sliding the ribs into my hand. Breath in, exhale, relax, good. That was a good one. So that's going to happen again, and this one goes down at the same time. Breath in, exhale, relax. <clears throat> that was quite a bit of muscular effort. We just, when we, we meet too much muscle, we just say next time, gentler. And checking here, up, down. I meet it, and this one easily goes down just with my touch. This one stays fixed in place. So it doesn't want to go down, so I let it go up. So this one down, this one up, towards the ceiling. Let's do that one again with the exhale. Breath in, exhale, up, down. Relax. Good. That's a good change. This is an up. I want this one up, this one down. You see, it's dynamic, so I have to always be rechecking. This is going to be up. This one down. Breath in. Relax. Good. See how much more movement we have? In the neck, it's not possible for me to be up here and also resisting there. Now I can have the patient do those movements without resistance, that's certainly an option. Uh, but up here we'll just look at some fairly standard ones. Where I come this way, this way is easier. So breath in, you're going to be rolling to the right, exhale. Relax. Checking lateral flexion, we want to go uh, to the left. Breath in, exhale. Relax. Good. And straight down to the table. Breath in, exhale. Relax. So initially, before the camera started rolling, I checked the neck quite tight. We have a lot more movement available just by coming up the body with this brief five minute routine from uh, Yin Sotai. At Blue Poppy, we have an entire uh, CE course on Yin Sotai. You're welcome to go, go to uh, bluepoppy.com and uh, look for that. But even for people doing community acupuncture where the patient's in a recliner, this is available. Just to quickly go through, again, the high points were <clears throat> touch a little more than gravity, look for the direction of ease. This is easier this way. This one gets stuck. So I let this one do what's easy, do the opposite on the other side. Same here. Immediately I touch, this one gives going down towards the table, this one not at all. So let it go down, so start it here, and let this one do the opposite, which is to go up. And so on up uh, the body. 
and looking then to capitalize working across the body and different uh, adjacent body parts, you could call them. Uh, a lot more could be done, but I wanted to just show this basic uh, five minute routine. If I hadn't been talking it through, it would have been five minutes. Probably it really was more than that uh, because of the talking. I hope this has value for you in your practice and uh, thanks for listening.